back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here for the first time. I am Jill Baird and today I have a 12 minute advanced core workout. So what makes this advanced more than anything is the timing of the workout. So it is no repeat. We have 12 individual core exercises that we're going to do for 50 seconds each with only 10 seconds in between. So if maybe you're not feeling the whole 50 second work period, you can take a few little rests throughout the work period, or you can just take a little bit longer rest towards the end. But as always, I encourage you to give the entire 50 second work period your best effort, and then I think you're gonna surprise yourself. I think you're gonna be able to do it just fine. All right, so the only piece of equipment we need for this workout is a mat. I have a different mat out today. Um, since I'm wearing all black, I felt like I was gonna blend into the mat, so I put a gray mat out, in case you're wondering why I have a different mat out. All right, guys, we are gonna go ahead and get started, so why don't you meet me down on your back? We're gonna start with a dead bug hold, so I'm gonna get this timer going on our backs. Uh, tabletop position, knee or shins parallel to the mat. You're pressing your palms into your knees or quads and quads, knees back into the palms. If you want to make it a little bit harder, lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Pull your belly button back towards your spine. Engage your pelvic floor. And hold. So if it's too much on the back of your neck, you can go ahead and put your head back down on the mat. Are you breathing? I hope so, because you can't work if you're not breathing. Last five seconds here, press a little harder both ways. And rest for 10. Now we're gonna take it into a single side dead bug. So I'm gonna press my right palm into my left knee and I'm going to extend left arm and right leg. Again, if you want to make it a little bit harder, lift head, neck and shoulders off the mat. Inhaling as you lengthen and exhaling as you come to center. Imagine there's a little string pulling your chest up towards the ceiling. And you can exaggerate that exhale. Really engages the entire core. Really press. All right, bring the feet down for a second. So this time, Tabletop the shins, and we're going to press that left hand into the right knee, and we're going to extend right arm and left leg. If you want to make it a little bit harder, lift head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Relax the back of the neck. into a plank position for the next series of movements. So we'll be flipping over onto our hands and toes. All right, into that high plank, top of a push-up. And we're gonna come into a plank march. So elbow, where the palm was, and then palm back to where the elbow was. So our core isn't just our six pack. It's everything from our diaphragm down to our glutes. And speaking of glutes, I hope you're giving yours a nice squeeze right now. It's important in a plank. Plank is a total 
core move. And I hope you're alternating the hand that goes down and the hand that goes up. Woo! All right, come down to your knees just for a couple of seconds. And then meet me in a forearm plank. So forearms are parallel. Again, squeeze your butt. Press your palms and your forearms and your elbows into the mat. Notice how that separates that space between your shoulder blades. Press through those heels towards the wall behind you. If you want to advance this, we're going to bring it into a saw, shifting forward onto tippy toes and back. So imagine pulling those elbows isometrically back towards your toes and then pressing your toes towards your elbows. Notice how that really zips up the front abs. Hope you're squeezing your butt. Okay, now we're gonna come down onto our stomach for superhumans because our core is also the back side of our body. So lift and lower. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Lift a little higher, hold a little longer. You've got this, almost there. All right, we're gonna come into a quadruped position. So, tabletop, hands and knees. And we're gonna come into a balancing bird dog. So extend right arm, left leg, squeeze the left glute. And then on an exhale, draw, elbow, to knee, slow and controlled. If you're feeling extra spicy, you can take this into a two-point plank. So just balancing on that left hand and the right knee. I'm comfy right here. I'm gonna stay where I'm at. So this challenges our balance. It works the muscles that support our spine which are part of our core, an important part of our posture. And then we're also working obliques by bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee. And then that anti-rotation to not rock from side to side. Okay, reset. Left arm, right leg. And then hold that knee and elbow together for a count of one, or two. Make sure you're squeezing that right bum. And as little rotation as you can, right? So we're not wobbling from side to side here. This is a deep core move. And we're going to step this up a little bit and our next move is going to be a bear crawl. So we're going to be traveling to the front and back of the mat on our hands and our toes. All right, so come to the back of your mat. Whoops, I got to move that medicine ball. Tuck your toes under, hover your knees, and at the bell, it's opposite hand and opposite foot. And then take it back. If the crawling is too much for you, you can do the hovering bear hold in place. Very controlled movement 
And yes, the reverse crawl is a little bit more challenging than the forward crawl. Make sure you keep looking out in front of you. All right, now we have a side plank. I'm gonna come down onto my right forearm, working the sole of my right foot onto the mat, and I'm gonna come into a side crunch. You can always lower that right knee down to the mat. Try to lift that left hip just a little bit higher. I know you probably don't like me very much right now. Maybe lift the corners of your mouth. Create a rainbow with the corners of your mouth. Woo! That was spicy. Okay, I'm gonna flip this other direction to come onto my left side. So, elbow directly underneath the shoulder. Create that rainbow with the side body. And then knee to elbow. So the bottom oblique, the right side, is getting a lot of work here to keep us lifted. And then of course, that top oblique is getting a lot of work as we bring, whoa, got a little unsteady there. Um, knee to elbow. You've got this, keep going. All right, final move is a forearm plank hip dip. So, arms are parallel, shoulders over elbows, squeeze your buns, and then dip side to side. Yes, I know your arms are on fire. Your core should definitely be on fire. The good news is this is our last move. Keep looking forward, both metaphorically and literally. Keep your gaze forward and keep your eye on the prize, which is how accomplished you're gonna feel when you don't quit. Keep showing up for yourself every day. We are so close. Woo! Saved by the bell there, friends. And that is the end of our 12-minute advanced core workout. If you are looking for a week of workouts that are all planned out for you, I have put together a playlist from my channel of workouts that I think make the most sense for a thorough week of training full body strength, HIIT work, and yoga mobility and recovery. All right, guys, I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for joining me.